On this episode of Captain's Tales, we are slamming fish from the 10,000 islands to Estero Bay. Perfect presentation, Tim. Thank you, appreciate that. Sift it right off the top of the water. Sweet. Great looking fish. Sight fish reds, man. Won't fly. That sun hit some light to my man. Good night. That is creek fishing at its finest. <laughs> oh, hello, girl. Throughout maritime history, there have been experts on the water who knew how to navigate and locate their body. These individuals held the secrets to where, when, and how. This still holds true today. Get ready for an angling experience filled with sea secrets, fantastic fishing, and great destinations. For on this show, it's only the captain and the camera. On this charter, we're starting out in the 10,000 Islands fly fishing for redfish, snook, and sea trout with Captain Tim Doherty. Captain Tim's plan is to follow the bite from the 10,000 Islands north to Estero, doing whatever it takes to get the job done. The technique today is pulling along the shorelines, sight casting with good friend Captain Ryan Glace on spots only known to these captains. Right, you see how they're hovered like that? They're in those coves, I think. This next pocket should have a fish in it. There was a bunch of mullet in there. Tim. Thank you, appreciate that. Sift it right off the top of the water. Well, it's a good take, man. Sight fishing. So, oh, go on, get you some. Yeah, he was hovering there just like a snook, wasn't he? Just like a snook, man. Just like a snook. That was a pretty take. Pull and pull. Some help with that one, buddy? No. Just having fun, enjoying it. Good fish. Ain't bad. I'm milking this one. I'm gonna have way too much fun. That's straight up addicting right there. Take another half a dozen of these. almost down in the crusher. Sweet. Great looking fish. Sight fish reds, man. On fly. Beautiful. Mm. Good spot there, Rye. Thank you. <laughs> Mixed in with those mullet laying on top of the water. That's it, man. Right. One of them big snook. My hands are shaking. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Well, let's get another one. Yeah, I need that. Four. 
still fun. Whew. I'm spoiled being up here. I feel like somebody, else, maybe we should switch or something. No, man, good. I'm enjoying it. Captain Ryan aids Captain Tim by keeping an experienced eye on the mangrove edges and shallow water structure for any species of game fish that comes their way as he pulls the shoreline. Yeah, he, moved, he moved up under those trees. I'm going to see Walter here. Very nice. Trying to get you. Okay. okay. Nothing better than that take, man. Why is that so cool? To see that wake come up and right behind that fly. Perfect. The whole sight fishing thing is just way too cool. Look just like the fly. Sweet. These fish had a rough three years, but man, I tell you what, they're coming back full. Plenty of these little guys to keep you busy all day. Come right. on, brother. Blends in with that water perfect. Awesome. Yes, sir. Dang! Oh. That was awesome. You know what happened there? The one fish, that was a different fish. Really? Yeah. There was a second one underneath him and that was the one that ate it. Man. That was awesome. Popped, I mean, you didn't even twitch it. Nope. Put it on the noodle. He might be small, but hey, big hit. No jumping, huh? You're just gonna give up. Wow. That white is the ticket. I don't that even... white fly. It is, ain't it? Quite a few of these out there. I know Mama is around the next bush. That's awesome. Look, pretty fish. Very pretty. Big old mouth. And they love flies. That was fun. Southwest Florida offers such a variety of fishery versus the backcountry versus the inshore. We target on the uh, beaches out here. Sometimes you have such an awesome snook fishery and the tarpon run. The tarpon run April and May is, is awesome out there and a couple feet of water on the beaches. But um, really for me, it's just about being versatile and really um, not just sticking to one set plan. I'm a backcountry fishing guide, pretty much specializing in uh, light tackle spin fishing and fly fishing. Um, I run a little 17-foot Mitzi skiff. It's perfect for the shallow waters. Get you in that nice skinny water that, that the fly fishermen love to get in and do a lot of sight fishing. And also we're on the 22 today Pathfinder. Great boat, which I call the Cadillac. It's a comfy ride. It's not as, uh, can't float as skinny. You can get in about a foot of water or so, but just a great boat, comfy boat. Um, and it allows you to fish live bait pretty good and fly. Actually, fly works pretty good too. So it's just an all around good boat. Um, but the combination is pretty deadly for down here in South Florida. We're going to be throwing a little fly and we're going to be throwing a little uh, live bait on a spinner rod. Let me show you a little bit as far as the fly gear we're using. Just a simple 8 weight. This is an Orvis uh, Helios 8 weight, which is actually perfect for the backcountry. Um, so that's going to be a good, good one for the snook. 
and for the reds today. And if that they're not cooperating so good with the fly, we're gonna pick up some live bait. Just a simple seven foot, I think this is a pen battle uh, 3000, perfect little rod for the backcountry. And uh, we'll try to hit them on the spin too. We're definitely uh, gonna hit them on all avenues, but let me show you too a little bit about the flies here. Um, we are fishing a lot of mangroves as you can see in the back in the back of me here. So the EP's really, really strong, durable fly. Um, you can probably see there's a nice little weed guard and that's gonna save you from a lot of headaches during the day. Um, a lot of these fish are pretty deep back in the, in the cover there. So a good presentation deep in the cover, stripped out slow is, is what's gonna get the strike and that weed guard's gonna really keep you from, from snagging the trees. But that's a, that's a real good color. Uh, it's kind of like a light green, uh, white, kind of to mimic the pilchard we're using. And we got almost like a little pinfish color. And you can't go wrong with white. White's an awesome color for the backcountry here, especially in the summertime. So we're going to kind of mix it up. As you know, we've got spin and fly gear. I also like to bring maybe two or three different types of rods, different weights, um, just in case different scenarios. If I'm targeting them in the real super skinny water, not a lot of cover, not a lot of current, the eight weight is money. This is uh, pretty much our staple down here. But let's say you got a lot of current and uh, some deeper troughs, some deeper area, you're going to need to hoss the fish out up, up it to about a nine weight. A little bit more, a uh, little larger arbor reel will help you collect that line a little faster. And um, it's just good to have a little bit of everything out here because you never know what the day is going to throw at you so definitely um, bring the tackle if you got it because you might need it. I offer kind of two different trips. I do take a lot of families out, a lot of inexperienced anglers so the 22 Pathfinder is a great boat for it. Um, but then I have the serious anglers, the guys that might want to get in the shallow waters and fish for such species as snook, tarpon, redfish, sea trout, those are probably the big four. But I mean you throw in permit, and jack, snapper, mackerel I mean the list goes on and on it's just an awesome fishery down here so many different ways to target these fish and just really really enjoy getting out in the water and enjoying all this today for me as a, as a full-time guide and fisherman down here was awesome I love to hit them every different way possible down here it's just a good there's no set plan at least when I go fishing so the fly the spin I mean some days it's live bait some days you know you're cutting bait but it's it's the uh, variety for me and just the different species of fish in the backcountry that, that makes it super special down here. Captain Tim has picked up his larger boat and headed north to Estero to work the bay flats and backwater creeks. Tide kind of filled up. Now we're kind of moving out on this flat. There's a lot of turtle grass underneath us and, and just a perfect opportunity to throw a few baits at them. Um, again, we're not set in one particular style of fishing today. It's just whatever it takes to, to get a rod bent. Here's what we're doing. Fly or spin, it don't matter. It works. package over here. The traditional backcountry slam consists of redfish, snook, and sea trout. This coveted slam is attainable when the bite is consistent. Pretty though. That sun hits them, lights them up, doesn't it? All right. As the tide changed, we moved from the shallow bay flats back into the creeks. Is it? 
big one on this corner. Can you all hear that? Or is that just me? There's a straight up party going around that corner. I got a jet. I got some red tendencies. That's a red fish, man. Look at that. About as red as I think I've ever seen. Look like a goldfish. Look at that. Even his belly. Wow. It's pretty sweet. I mean, look at how red he is. That's awesome. Just another bonus in the backcountry. <laughs> that was sweet. They're popping all the way around this corner. If you can dial that TV set in, you may be able to hear them. Let's check over here. Big Mama's still around this bush. You hear that? Maybe I'm dreaming. You don't even know he's hooked yet. What hell's about to There's fish rolling all over here. We're trying for tarpon. And out of nowhere, this big female snook scared the daylights out of me. I'm shaking like a leaf right now. Good night. the one. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is creek fishing at its finest. <laughs> oh, hello girl. Wow. I can't tell you I am shaking right now, but this is what I've been looking for. And uh, tarping all over, I had no idea that this big one was sitting in there. But I'm going to really take, take good care of this one right now. I'm gonna get her back in. Oh my goodness, I think I can fit my head in that now. I'm gonna back on that thing. Really just take my time with her. Jump this far. That was fun. Join us again next week for another episode of Captain's Tales. Join us again next week for another episode of Captain's Tales and try one more fishing spot online. Log on to www.captainstales.com.